So, hey everybody, we're back. And so, I used to have everybody like, your mic is awful, you have like the worst mic ever. Well, huh? not anymore. Yeah, it's because, look at this, this thing goes wherever I want it to. And now, okay. So as you may have been able to tell by the title, today we're going to be reading some Entitled Parents. Oh, I love these. I watch them on YouTube. And so as most of you know who are probably watching this, these this is not my idea at all. The main, there are like three people I take inspiration for doing these. this video is um, Dark Fluff, Bumfriss, and... I can't, the Redditor, and then there's probably about like a hundred other, but they're, I just want to try it out for myself, you know, because it's really fun for me, and yeah, they're quick to make, unlike a gaming video, which is going to take a lot more time for me to make, so hopefully I can actually be like a YouTuber again and record, but either way, I know the recording is kind of length, so it's mainly for you to listen to it, so I don't really have any background, but here I go. Entitled teacher tries to put her son into my band. All right, so at my school, I formed a band with my friends, and it was going very well, and it's, and it's, and still is, in parentheses, I hope. Our band teacher had our bassist, guitarist, dr drummer, and me, the singer. A background. A background is at our school. There happened to be a science teacher that has a kid in our grade and also teaches my class. Parentheses, she's a terrible teacher. When me and my friends made the band, the whole grade knew and just moved on. But there's one kid who we're talking about today. Me, I'm not even going to make the joke. F, friend, who is the guitarist. E.K., entitled kid, who is the son of teacher. E.T., entitled teacher and parent. So I'm just going to, one more thing, sorry for interrupting. And a lot of time, I'm going to be like, E.K., um, you, it's usually E.P., but in this time, it's E.T., for entitled teacher, but and so I'm gonna be like E K hi E P hi me hi and then this one has F which is friend. Okay, so I'm just just gonna get that out of the right. Okay. It was recess at my school, or break, whatever you wanna call it. And I was in line to grab a snack at the cafeteria. I got my stuff and turned to see F and saw him with E K and E T talking and and gave me to a look to come. While I was walking, I already heard this conversation happening. E.T., this is great. E.K., we can get you an electronic drum set. E.K., I'm really excited. By now I already know they baited F, so I ran over there thinking that he let our drummer be replaced. Next conversation. Me, hey, what's going on? F, whispers in my ear. E.K. is trying to get, in a, to get on our band. Me, whispering back. We'll tell them no, but E.T. will probably grade me down like the... Mm, beep. She is. Um, I'm not. I'm obviously not gonna swear. So I'm. I don't know what to say. I guess I'm just gonna say beep because I'm not gonna swear. Christian channel. <laughs> um, where'd I go? <laughs> I lost. Okay. F. Good thing I'm not in hair class. Me. Whatever. But everybody already tried to get. So tell them to beep off. F. You can tell a teacher to beep off. Me. Shut up. Now EK, now, EK was one of those kids who didn't try and relied on E.T. for everything, basically giving him special treatment. Probably special in the head, too. The conversation starts with me and E.T. Me. Sorry, E.T., but we already have a drummer. E.T., well, that's too bad. At least my E.K. can be your technician. What is going through this woman's head? Me. We don't need one. E.T., of course you will. Who's going to take care of the speakers? Me. 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 E.T., really? How? I grabbed F and dragged him out the door with me until our break was over. I was walking to the science class I had with E.T. the period after, talking to E.K., and, decide, and decided to listen. E.K., why can't I be a part of that? Because you have no motivation to exercise and don't put any effort into anything, including school. He didn't actually say that, but, you know, <laughs> that's what he was thinking. E.T., don't worry, it's just a fake band. They won't last two weeks. That's on the entitled teacher. This beep just said that. I stood by the door, still listening to E.T. 
talking beep about my van until E.K. walked out and E.T. stood by the doorway. I looked at her with the hardest gaze I could and gave her an evil smile as I walked in. I was the first one into the class and no one else was there. I said to the C.T., me, if you keep saying things like that, you won't last a teacher for two weeks. And besides, who said you were a real one? She froze as the next student walked in, forcing her not to react to what I just said. The period passed like any other. As I walked out, I gave E.T. the biggest and most evil, smi an evil smile as I slipped through the door. This day, my band is so doing really well, and I'm proud of all my bandmates who are working really hard, even though they would never see this. And, yeah, that's that's a nice story. I'm probably going to read three of this a video, and I, I enjoy them a lot. And so I see people reading them, so I'm like, you oh, know I should I should read them too. You let people get, try this. And we're going to read two more. As I mentioned in the previous post, I used to be a supervisor for public parks and trip. Oh, title. Entitled family sues my department for health, bills, damages, and other stuff. As I mentioned in previous posts, I used to be a supervisor for local parks in charge of lifeguard staff and pool maintain maintenance. I don't know why I, I didn't think of this as one of my first or second posts, but it's pure gold. Around 200, I get a series of complaints from patrons, all in the same family, claiming they got sick after going to one of my pools last summer. I do what I usually do in those situations and verify the water quality monitoring systems we have in place, go back to the logs for the period to mention the complaints, laugh it off, and go back to work. A few weeks later, and another another set of complaints, this time saying the health conditions have worsened. They had water sampled from the facility and analyzed by an independent lab, stating that I didn't respond to the first set of complaints. After the summer ended, probably around late October, I get a call from the city's lawyer. We are being sued by the family. The results come from the lab in. Our pool water was full of E. coli bacteria and other nasty bugs. The family wants a huge cash settlement, and the lawyer asks if it's worth going to court. If we had a solid defense, I told the lawyer we can go to any court that if we lose, I'll have my own private insurance to pay the amount we would have to end up paying, as well as any fines that may come from the government. The lawyer knows me. I had to deal with other situations with her in the past. She knows how I work. She knows I have nothing to do with the... He had nothing to worry, just from the tone of my voice, but I explained the whole situation. She laughs, writes up a countersuit, but just for our legal fees. Thinking back, I should have only said, don't worry, I got this. I gather all the documents I have, including the different procedure manuals I wrote, report my reports my teams have written, complaints we received, etc. It's a big file, but I'm excited. Our court date arrives, and I can barely hold back my smile in the fear the judge will be angry if I don't take the proceedings seriously. The family goes in, explains that they that they all got sick, sick, four adults, six kids, and two toddlers, that they lost days, weeks, and months of work, that they couldn't wait for the public health system. I'm in Canada, so I decided to pay to go to the private clinics for treatment. They ha they had experts explain the health issues my fam the family had and probable causes for such. They had the laboratory they hired explain how much how the water analysis was done. Everything checked out for the firm. The story made sense. They were suing for multiple millions, most of the amount punished to damage. We were city after all. We put the safety of our citizens in peril. Then I was called to testify by the family's lawyer. I I was asked what our water analysis procedure was. I explained that our system constantly rec rec records. The water quality, as long as it goes through the filtration system. Every minute, the different paramarkers are recorded, including chlorine levels, water temperatures, pH, al alkalinity. <laughs> I can't read that. I don't know. And about 10 other chemical markers for a total of 15 readings. I explained that our staff takes manual measurements of three can chemicals as well as water temperature every two hours. I explained that we take the turbidity readings once a week and the bacteria measures every two weeks. I explained our procedure. When any of the measurement doesn't respect the law requires, and also explained that we go beyond what the law asks for most, if not all measurements, if we by law need zero or one of less of said chemical, we are at zero comma zero five, zero zero five. Then I am asked if my staff took the measurements at the pool because my family, because the family claimed nobody ever checked the water quality. The answer that my team did not, in fact, take any measurements. I was asked if our automated system was properly calibrated according to the manufacturer's schedule. 
I confirmed that it was not, holding back laughter. Basically, I agreed to everything the family lawyer says. Then comes out our lawyer's turn to ask me questions. I am first asked if they had ever heard, if I had ever heard about the family. I produced documentation about the problems they had caused in other pools in the past two years, as well as the number of times they were kicked out of the facility, and the three times needed peace, police intervention, inter, intervention to have them removed. I am then asked to produce the water quality for every other basin I am responsible for. I provide the. I provide the 40 plus binders containing the lab results we get every other week. Water analysis forms filed by my staff, the water analysis documents done by our automated system. Then I produce time cards for every facility except the one that I mentioned in the lawsuit. I produce documents after documents, answer questions after question. Then comes a big one. The justice is very interested by that one too. City lawyer, Mr. Like name, Mr. Name, you have pro we have proven how diligent you take care of every basin under your responsibility, and how well you log all the data that you receive in each facility. I obviously take pride in your work and the quality of the services offered by as well as the health of the community. How is it then that you are unable to provide documents, time card reports, complaints about the that the families and the period questions me? Well. Well, in 2000, whatever year it was, the park and the pool were being renovated. They were not open to the public. The pool had no water in it. The pool air was basically a big hole in the ground for the whole summer. When we filled it for two days, still closed to the public, then we tested the new filtration Then we tested the new filtration system. Experts brought in by the family are still turned bright red in anger. The judge was clearly unhappy. The family claimed they had identified the wrong park, but their lawyer was already packing up his things. The judge went hairy. Was the judge wouldn't hear it. The city got their legal fees paid for. Were they an entitled family trying to get back at the city for have been have were for have being kicked been for having been kicked out of a pool a couple of times? Were the free loaders looking for an easy payday? I can't I can't say. All I know is that th is all I know is there is now a nice big mark next to their name in our court system. Attempted fraud. I hope the courts went back in their files. Similar cases involving that family were reopened. Okay, we've been recording for 10 minutes. We'll get one more in. All right, they're getting one more. Entitled parents thinks I will buy his son a Nerf gun. All right, this is the last one. It's a short one. So I was at Kmart one day looking for a bike pump for my nephew. Annoying kid, AK. AK-47, that's what it reminds me of. And said, I've never... So as I came out one day looking for a bike front for my nephew, AK, who looks about seven and comes up, the confirmation goes as follows. AK, can you please buy me a Nerf gun? Me. Sorry, I can't afford it. I wonder where his parents are at this point. AK, but you're buying that, points to my pump. Me. Sorry, I only have enough money for this. At this point, the dad comes up and asks the kid, what's wrong? Who looks like he's trying to cry at this point. AK, he won't... Buy me my Nerf gun, points to me, entitled dad. Is this true? Me. Sorry, I only have enough money for this for this pump. ED. ED stands for entitled dad, if you didn't couldn't figure that out. E. He looks peeped at this point, so put it back. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, but okay, let's pick up. Sorry. He looks at me like I'm the biggest idiot in the world. Me. Sorry, sir, I can't buy your son his toy. Have a nice day. As I start to walk away, I hear E.D. talk to his kid. E.D., don't worry about people like him, A.K. The world sometimes has some a-holes. A <laughs> that This almost makes me laugh at how, like, that is so... I forgot the word. I, I know, like, it's a... I completely forgot it, but... Uh, hypnocritical. That's what it is. The guy was... <laughs> I'm, this, that's really funny. That was a short one, so we'll get another. All right. Okay, so we'll do this one. All right. You should, you should let elders in front of you, you disrespectful teen. That's the title. Take a sip of hot cocoa. <laughs> All 
that it pretty much sums up what happened. I'm on mobile, and I'm also not an English native, so go right ahead and complain about my dyslexia. This contains a brief but good description of myself, so enjoy. This happened like an hour ago, and amuses me still. Also told a friend who said I should put it here. So I was getting a slice of pizza from some pretzel shop. It was from, from some pretzel shop. Shop. <laughs> I, was the, I was the second in line, a lady in front of me giving me her order. An elderly lady, e.g. for entitled grandmother, joins in with her grandkid. The wind was a bit strong, so naturally when she took out some money, it blew out of her hand. He told the kid to gather it. Of, I think it's, I think spelling error, I think it says, of course E.G. couldn't bend. She was 70 easily. It's understandable she sent the kid who was 8, 9 tops. Now this kid went under the lady in front. She screamed when the kid got up and hit her lady parts. Then the bag, when she moved away, entitled grandmother said nothing, but get them here faster, kid's name. The the lady looked mad, so so did the cashier. So that's when I knew this was going to be fun. Now when my turn comes, I see E.G. Lining, leaning in, in before me. So I tap her shoulder and tell her, Mrs., I was here before you. Please respect the line. E.G., oh, I wasn't doing anything. You annoying teens think you deserve anything, everything. That showed she was actually wanting to take my spot. Now, I wouldn't have minded if she, if she asked. And I always give them... Sp- I always give them the place in the line if I'm not in a hurry or they have fewer items than me. But when they do like, but, but when they do stuff like this, I get angry. She continued to complain, saying, "Come on, it's your turn." And uh, teens these days so rude. Can't let an elder in front. And I was here before. This Carolina. This while the lady was getting her changes, so I couldn't order anything. Even 15 seconds after the lady left the cashier, had to change some things something at the cash register so I could so I couldn't order. She started she still stared too loudly tell me to order already. I straightened up. I'm about I'm about five eleven to six foot and quite chubby and muscular at seventy five kilograms. Put my meanest face I look a bit like a lion, the details on my face. This is what I've been told, don't kill me please. I ain't pretty. I'm straight up ugly and scary at times, since I had huge dark circles under my eyes and always have them. I look like I belonged in the Godfather. She looked at me and complained, but less saying, oh, stupid teen and masculine. That's how Romanian works. Verbs are different for masculine and feminine. Even though I have big breasts, my jacket was open, but okay, lady, you do. You, You do you. Even the cashier had that face, like, shut the beep up, you fossil, or I'll spit in your food. (laughs) After I got my slice, she shouted, enjoy your beep food, you dumb routine. I think and hope the cashier dropped her pretzel. I also bet she told her kid that I was in the wrong. Poor, poor kid. Also, I just wanted to punch the beep out of her. Honestly, hope she tried to hit me. I can jump away like a gazelle. Plus, I had sport gear on. Pure be- pure abuse running shoes, so so easy jump and land. Long AF legs. She would have made a fool out of herself. Well, I'd have a good chuckle. I never punch her, even if it was the thing I wanted most. I'm not violent, but man, do I love seeing them beep up by themselves. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. So, um, I this was really fun, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so you can see this beautiful puppy again. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it. So, everybody have a good day, and bye!